All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. If you're wondering why the camera's set up this way, um, I'll probably post edit a, a picture over here so that way there's not that much space. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to discuss the Dr. Disrespect stuff that's going on. Um, if you don't know what's going on, basically in a nutshell, an ex-employee from Twitch came out and said, well, I know why Doc was, because um, like four years ago he faced a ban, uh, and then he got it got negated and he got paid by Twitch and uh an ex-employee <clears throat> came out and said, um, well, I know why, you know, just recently, I know why he was banned. Uh, apparently he had uh, interactions with a minor. Uh, we'll leave it at that because, you know, it's YouTube. And yeah, so Dr. Disrespect came out at first and didn't um, negate anything that was stated. And then today he admitted that there was messages going on. Now we got some videos from uh, Nick Merckx. We got videos from Tim the Tapman. Um, Jesus, this is a long ass tweet. But we have this tweet from uh, Dr. Disrespect just like four hours ago. Um, I'll just have his picture up because this is a long ass tweet. Um, it says, the Twitch ban, being the title of the post, I guess. Uh, hello, I'd like to make a quick statement. Let's cut the fucking bullshit. As you know, there's no filter with me. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that I can be upfront about. And I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. First and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community, as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studio, who fired him. And I believe that's his own company. Uh, a lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and I, and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. Our team is full of incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families, and I never want to jeopardize the culture we have carefully crafted. Now, along the lines with the Midnight Society, because of Dr. Disrespect's affiliation with them, that is going to taint them because that's just how the internet works. Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but for reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years, that being four. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed accusations, I can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. That is not cool. Um, nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared. No crimes were committed. I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute with Twitch, and that case was resolved by a settlement. Let me be clear. It was not a criminal case against me, and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. Your problem here, Doc, is not the um, criminal aspect. It is the public opinion. The public doesn't give a fuck if the uh, court decided or decided or you're now in the uh, public the public's court or public's opinion court, whatever, whatever the terminology is. They don't care. Nobody cares that you got cleared by a court. You now have to face public opinion. And the fact that you had um, statements to a minor, and you admit right here. Um, let me see. Uh, these were casual mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. That's enough for a lot of people. That's enough for a lot of people to write you the fuck off. Um, Tim the Tapman did. I'll have his video right here. Wow. This is absolutely insane, bro everything I'm seeing. I have known Doc for a while now. We've played games for years and um, seeing everything that is spiraling right now is a uh, very difficult thing for me personally and I'm sure for a lot of y'all out there. I think for me, I know a lot of you are asking, Tim, what are you feeling? Tim, what are you feeling? My bottom line, I think, is 
if what he is saying where he said that he was messaging a minor and it would sometimes lead to teeter on inappropriate if he knew that was a minor and those were the messages being sent I cannot support that I can't I appreciate y'all I am this is beating me up but this is unfortunate to say the least this is awful so appreciate you guys thank you for the love you give and uh i'll see y'all soon man nick Merckx did i'll have his video right here yo yo checking in i'm seeing everything on twitter and uh i read through doc's tweet and in that very tweet uh, he basically confirms that you know he was texting an underage girl and it went weird sometimes, you know. And, and look, just to just to be blunt and straightforward, man, I, it, that's that's inexcusable. It's unacceptable, right? Uh, there's no excuse for something like that. And, and I can't support it. Hang on, honey. Doing this, I'm talking to Twitter. I can't support it. I can't defend it. And uh, look, the boys and I are torn up over it too, man, because we played a lot of games with the guy, and, and it feels a little weird, but. What can you do, you know? So I just wanted to update you guys on, on my thoughts and how I'm feeling. And, uh, I mean, look, I, I, hope, I hope you guys have a good day, all right? Yo, yo. You got Geeks and Gamers that's on live right now with Tuesday night's main event talking about it. Obviously, people on Twitter are talking about it. Um, Side Scrolls with Craig was live a little bit earlier. They were talking about it. Uh, you got Benology on um, Tuesday night's main event who was a fan of Dr. Disrespect. He was talking about it. I mean... It doesn't matter if you were fined or not found guilty in a court, a criminal court. You're now facing public opinion, which is a lot worse, by the way. I mean, look at what Kyle Rittenhouse went through. Uh, except Kyle Rittenhouse was proven innocent because of, vi uh, I believe it was video and then uh, witness statements. Um, you fully admitted that you had inappropriate conversations with a minor. That's not cool, bro. Um, now a moral standpoint, wait, let me be clear. I was not, okay. Yeah. So here's where we are now from a moral standpoint, I'll absolutely take responsibility. Good. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband and a father who, by the way, has had multiple issues in the past, um, with cheating on his wife, uh, twice, I believe. Um, it should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect and I'll fucking own my shit. This was stupid. Here's the thing with this. It don't matter because you said as a husband, adult, and a father. So you went against being an adult. You definitely went against your wife in a really bad way and your children. Now what this all said don't get it fucking mistaken. I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely. I don't know if it's loosely now that you just admitted this. Social media is a decon or is a destruction zone. No fucking predator or pedophile. Are you kidding me? Anyone that truly knows me fucking knows where I stand on those things with those types of people. Fuck that. That's a different level of disgust that I fucking hate even hearing about. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. But I think I've said what I needed to say regarding the band itself. That's it. That's why Twitch made the decision in 2020. To my team, community, industry friends that have supported me, I apologize. I wish I could have said all this sooner. You guys have always showed me and my family love and support throughout all these years. We love you guys like you can't imagine. I have the fucking best community and circle. If any of this has made you uncomfortable, I get it. You don't have to support me anymore, but just know you have always been greatly appreciated. But trust me when I say this to all my haters that live and breathe social media with zero life experience, I don't give a fuck about you. Finally, if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm a piece of shit, that's fine, but I'm not fucking going anywhere. I'm not the same guy that made this mistake all those years ago. I'm taking an extended vacation with my family, as mentioned on stream, and I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. They want me to disappear. Yeah, fucking right. And I would like to note, 
as a matter of fact, while I got this up right now, I'm going to snip it just in case this post gets, or this comment gets taken out. Um, <clears throat> with Steven Crowder, who makes a very good point, and I want to make sure I get this before it potentially disappears, because who knows if it's going to be gone. Um, and of course, I'll have it up. It'll be up on the screen right now while I'm trying to save it for you guys. But it says, you edit it out minor, then edit it back in. Because he got caught. He got caught editing out the word minor. Um, you shouldn't have edited that out. That just makes it a whole lot worse. Uh, yeah, someone right here, editing out minor in and out of the statement is wild, and that's not good for you. Um, someone said so many words just to say you were texting a minor inappropriately. How many times you're going to edit the word minor in and out? The third edit is wild. Stop the bullshit. You texted a minor some inappropriate shit and for three years were able to thrive. What the fuck does Twitch have to say about this? Because Twitch paid him. Straight out. Uh, he edited it out minor, got called on it, then edited it back in. Quite the apology when you're still trying to skirt responsibility. And I'm going to end that there. I'm going to see if I can find the... Because uh, at this point, I haven't gotten the recording for um, Nick Merckx and, um, oh, here they are. Hey, someone put them together for me. Nice. Um, Nick Merckx and Tim the Tapman. So I will go ahead and get those here in a wow. second. Shut up, Tim. I don't need you quite yet. Um, long and short of it, ladies and gentlemen, is he decided to do this with a minor. And he admitted it. He admitted it. So it's to no fault to anybody else other than his own for doing this shit. Now, like I said, you might have been cleared through the court, but you're not cleared through the people. And the people's a lot worse than the court. Um, and I didn't mean to throw Kyle Rittenhouse trying to equate him to Dr. Disrespect, because Kyle Rittenhouse was actually proven innocent with video and um, uh, witness statements. So the best thing Doc can do right now is not run and hide like he's saying he's going to with his family on vacation. Does he need to mend bridges? Yes. I don't know if he can. Because um, <clears throat> this would be a deal breaker for me. If I was married to a woman and I found out that she was potentially having messages or even relations with a minor, done. Right there. If my brother went out and did that, done. My sister went out and did that, done. Right then and there. I'm sorry. That is one thing that you... Or no, I'm not sorry. Um, That's one thing you cannot condone. That is one thing you cannot be okay with. Um, yeah, I would like to know everybody else's opinion down in the chat. That's what it's there for. Um, do you think he's done? Do you think he has a career after this or do you think people are going to write him off? And when he says long vacation, how long of a vacation is that? Is it a couple months? Is it a month? Is it a week? Is it a year? Who knows? Do you think Dr. Disrespect is done? Ladies and gentlemen, let me know down in the comments below. Catch you later.